of Mr. Mendy Temba Boim Simang is uh, currently underway. Uh, you've seen the family and uh, the uh, funeral cottage arriving there from a service that took place earlier. And some dignitaries are also here as well. Among them, I believe we saw Mr. Snuggi Zigalala, among the dignitaries who are actually here, and also some veteran ANC members who are also here. I also think uh, it's important uh, to note uh, that uh, um, uh, General um, Simang who also happens uh, to be the son of uh, the late uh, Mr. Msimang. He has also arrived uh, with the rest of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the family. Then uh, he, they are also some other uh, generals that are part of uh, the service. Uh, we have seen them coming, in, uh, coming uh, earlier on the uh, various uh, chiefs uh, of services and divisions, uh, they are also among uh, the mourners uh, today. And it seems the family is still waiting outside the chapel just so that uh, the coffin can actually go in. Immediately afterwards, they will also go in. You see that they are actually comforting one another there. You know, uh, last minute uh, goodbyes to the late struggled stalwart. Oh, State and President and Cyril Ramaphosa and is also seen walking in there. Colonel, if we can just elaborate on uh, the members of the force who are actually forming the Guard of Honor as some of the dignitaries and the mourners are actually arriving there. Uh, the members uh, of the South African National Defense Force uh, that are, are seen, um, they are coming from the uh, South African Army, uh, from the South African uh, Air Force, no, South African uh, uh, Navy, We also have the leading uh, detachment, the members uh, of the band, the um, uh, pole bearers and uh, the bearers. Uh, on the screen uh, we see um, uh, Lieutenant uh, General Masondo, who is the, the Chief of Staff of the South African National Defense Force. And um, he was accompanied by David Makura, who is the Premier of Gauteng, who is among the dignitaries that are actually here. Earlier on, we saw even our President, Cyril Ramaphosa, like, also making his way towards the chapel. As you understand, Mr. Msibang actually served as a high-ranking member of the African National Congress, serving as a treasurer from 1997, from, 2000, from 1997 until 2017. There we see uh, Lieutenant uh, General Lalindi Leyam, the chief of the South African Army, having paid uh, his respect uh, to the uh, Commander-in-Chief. And uh, in his eulogy, uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa described uh, Mr. As a true leader who was actually very selfless, and uh, 
Colonel, I, I heard you actually elaborate on uh, the leadership skills uh, of Mr. Msima. If you can just elaborate on that further. Indeed, uh, uh, Mr. Msimanga, you will recall uh, in 1969, he was assigned to establish uh, an AAC uh, office uh, in India, where he was the chief representative for, for a number of years. And uh, he was later to play a similar role uh, of ANC uh, chief uh, representative in the United, Co uh, in the United uh, uh, Kingdom. Uh, Babu Mendi Simang's administrative skills uh, were legendary. On the National Executive Committee um, of the ANC, he performed among the other tasks its uh, secretarial uh, functions. And it is probably interesting to note uh, that uh, he has been uh, in a very, has, he had a very keen interest in education uh, at various times in exile. Uh, he was responsible for the management of the different kinds of scholarships that were offered uh, by various uh, countries and uh, their tertiary institutions to young uh, South Africans uh, who had been uh, forced uh, to flee uh, the country. And I heard you mention that uh, Mr. Msibang was previously married. Uh, can you just take us through his family and the children, the wives, and uh, that kind of thing? Yes, indeed. Uh, 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 Mr. Msibang was uh, previously uh, married uh, to uh, the late uh, Mrs. Uh, Agnes uh, Kosana. And, uh, we are also aware uh, that uh, in that uh, marriage uh, he had um, uh, children uh, uh, with uh, the, the late uh, Mrs. Uh, Agnes uh, uh, Villacazi. Well, we also saw the, um, the Minister of the Defence, Nusibio Mapisa Nakula and Habi, are also among the dignitaries actually are waiting for the coffin to go inside the chapel before they can actually go in. There's the health minister as well, they, you know, having a chat uh, with the Nafulas, uh, probably talking about the good times they've shared uh, with the late Mr. Msima, as he served among the, the top structures of the ANC uh, for over decades as well. Uh, I remember he was also described as being one of the first to actually leave the country to exile when the likes of uh, political parties like ANC were actually uh, banned by the then apartheid uh, administration. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, uh, during the turbulent uh, uh, 1950s, uh, Mabum Simang uh, was working tirelessly, uh, mostly behind the scenes. Uh, that started uh, with the implementation of uh, the uh, 1949 ANC Youth League Program of Action, successful, uh, successively uh, followed by the uh, 1952 defiance of an unjust laws campaign. Any minute now, uh, Hoffman will be going into the chapel. Uh, probably it's, uh, it's uh, worth to note that among uh, the children that uh, uh, the late uh, Mr. Msimang had, uh, one of his sons uh, is uh, uh, General um, Simang, who happens to be the chief of the South African Air Force. That what you see on the sides of uh, the black Mercedes, uh, it is uh, the uh, 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 
pole bearers and uh, the bearers of their uh, drills uh, by uh, the search major. I, I think uh, our offense, uh, it, it would be criminal if we don't mention uh, uh, the, the reason why the uh, special official funeral uh, service was uh, awarded uh, by the uh, commander-in-chief, uh, President uh, Cyril Ramaphosa. You know, this type of uh, a, 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 a funeral is normally uh, offered uh, to the people that uh, have uh, extraordinary uh, credentials. Uh, in serving uh, their country. These are the final stages of the special official funeral uh, for uh, Mr. Musima. Uh, from here, the military is going to hand over to the family, and the family has actually asked for privacy so that once it's handed over and they can have their they can cremate the body in private uh, so that they don't have to appear on tv being emotional Which officers would actually carry the coffin? Is there a specific rank for the pallbearers? The pallbearers, uh, in this case, uh, it is uh, the brigadier generals. The uh, bearers are the uh, sergeant majors. And uh, the chief mourner, uh, second, uh, the chief military mourner. Uh, in this case, um, you would see uh, he has. Um, uh, that is uh, Lieutenant General uh, Lindy Le Yam, uh, who is the chief of the South African Army. It's the final stage of the special funeral, special official funeral. Uh, for Mr. Mendim Simanga, who passed away on Monday after he succumbed to cancer. As you can see, his coffin has been carried into the chapel. I believe that family and other dignitaries have been waiting for the coffin to actually enter the chapel. Then they can follow suit immediately afterwards. Lots of tributes actually poured in, and what has definitely stuck out is the fact that uh, Mr. Msimang has been one of those selfless leaders who actually worked very hard on the background without seeking uh, any validation for some of the hard work he's done. And uh, some analysts have been saying that uh, this is the type of caliber leaders that actually required in this date and time when you find leaders who would say that they have fought for the freedom and now they want to reap the rewards uh, of their hard fought battles. But this wasn't the case uh, with Mr. Msimang from what I've gathered from the well wishes and from some analysts who've actually analyzed this particular funeral. Uh, indeed, uh, Mr. Msimang had contributed uh, vastly uh, to the freedom that we enjoy uh, today. In 1999, President Mandela awarded uh, Babu Mendi uh, Msimang uh, the Order of uh, Meritorious uh, Service uh, in Silver.
Now that what you see is the marshalling officer who is going to hand the storm flag uh, to uh, the chief of the South African Army, Lieutenant General Lindy Leyam, who is in this case uh, the chief uh, military mourner. And uh, he will hand uh, over uh, that uh, storm flag uh, to the appointed uh, member of the family. And that uh, will be then symbolizing the great respect that uh, this country has uh, in the services and the uh, selfless sacrifice uh, of uh, Mr. Msima. Okay, as you can see, the family there after the coffin has been taken in by the pall bearers and the flag bearers, it looks like the family is also preparing to also enter the chapel. But before then, you see they're unfolding the South African flag to hand it over. If you can elaborate on the symbolism of this particular handover with the flag being given to the family. As I've said uh, um, uh, earlier on, uh, the uh, storm flag uh, when it is given uh, to you uh, by uh, the representative of uh, the chief in command uh, of uh, this country, uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa. That indicates the great respect that this country uh, has and uh, its um, appreciation of the services that you have rendered uh, to the people of this country. So this is where the business of the military service and the ceremonials is going to end and the family is going to take over? Indeed. Uh, once uh, this uh, session that uh, uh, we see now uh, ending, uh, this is uh, when uh, the, uh, the body will be then handed over to the family uh, to continue with uh, the rest uh, of uh, uh, the uh, sessions. And, uh, as I mentioned earlier, once uh, the service for the family starts, uh, it will be a rep on our side as the family had asked for privacy uh, while they will be undergoing the crematorium service. We are coming to you from Rebecca Street Crematorium, which will be the last resting place uh, for the former South African ambassador to the UK and struggle stalwart, Mr. Mendy Msiman. Uh, that is uh, uh, Brigadier General uh, Jamangile, who is uh, the Chaplain General of uh, the South African uh, National Defense Force. Those are the uh, pole bearers giving uh, uh, their last respect.
on playing of uh, the last post. It's uh, important uh, 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 to note that uh, all the military uh, in uniform uh, who attends uh, this uh, military funeral on the playing of the last post, they are uh, to salute, which will be the, sa the, uh, the sign of the last respect. There's the president and his wife, accompanied by the Msimang family, actually just are waiting for the hearse to go in shortly as the military pay their last respects before they take the hearse inside the chapel. Now, this marks uh, the uh, end uh, of uh, the uh, military uh, processions.
that what you see is the senior officers before they take and uh, retire. They are each of them paying their last respects. Now, this is uh, Lieutenant General Msimang, the son of the late Mr. Msimang. The special official funeral for Mr. Mendy is actually coming to an end here at the Rebecca Street crematorium. Uh, the military has actually handed over to the family and the family has asked for privacy as they will be cremating the remains uh, of Mr. Msimang. And with that, it's back to studio. To do what? All right, so we're back uh, here in Joburg from that uh, process that was taken over from uh, the military in the last uh, process of the burial, and in this case, cremation of uh, Mr. Mainrod Temba Boy Msimang. That the service will continue to follow right up to the end. Now, let's uh, recap off on some of the moments that took place earlier on. Mr. Msimang's grandson, Shaga Sesulu, speaking on behalf of the grandchildren paid tribute to his late grandfather. <laughs> 